if you had told me that Carlos Rodon would have a great outing, I wouldn't believe you. If you told me DJ LeMahieu would hit a home run, I wouldn't believe you. If you told me Anthony Volpe would hit a home run, I might believe you on there, but it's been a while. If you told me Alex Verdugo got a hit, I wouldn't believe you. All of these things happened in the same game. And the Yankees, with all of those wild, unprecedented things, have split the series against the Tampa Bay Rays. They win this one today in convincing fashion. I guess we start with Rodon. We'll get to the offense in a second and the Jose Siri nonsense. But let's just start with an unbelievable outing out of Carlos Rodon. Ten strikeouts from the man. Seven innings, two hits, one run, two walks, 10 Ks. This was, it was like an entirely different pitcher out there today. We got, we got length out of a starter, which is rare. He was mixing, mixing his pitches so effectively and just mowing down the Rays all game long. Only had, I mean, it would not be Carlos Rodon without a, a mistake, and that was the Jose Siri home run. But outside of that, he was fantastic just shutting Tampa Bay down. And this was the kind of outing that he needed and that we needed. We needed a good outing from somebody who has been struggling for a while. It's been a rough summer here for Rodon. Great bounce back today. And just also the team in general with all of our inconsistent starts with the offense. That was great there. So I'm very happy with his performance today. It was special. And then uh, with the offense, I was not expecting much from this game after the first setting in which we went down one, two, three on strikeouts. You know, when you have Rice, Soto, and Judge all strike out, things aren't looking good. But top of the second, Rodon helped us bounce back. Two strikeouts of Aronso Arena and Siri, and then he forced out Caballero um, and left Brandon Lowe straight at first, or at second, I guess he was out at second. Then the bottom of the second, we got back-to-back -back home runs, one from Austin Wells, his seventh of the year. And then Anthony Volpe with his first home run since, I can't believe this, May 16th. It's been two months since Volpe has hit a home run. Would not have believed it, but... It, it, crazy that, uh, that it took him this long. But, you know, seeing the power that we saw from Volpe today just encouraged me greatly. And also from Austin Wells, that was uh, that was nice to see. But back-to-back -back home runs from those guys. Then a 1-2-3 third uh, for the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, top of the fourth, we got a fly-out, ground-out, and fly-out from a Rosarena. Uh, a Rosarena ended the inning with a fly-out. Almost went out the yard, but fortunately it stopped just a few inches away Um Great catch there, or not great catch, but just a catch by Verdugo. Bottom of the fourth inning. Back-to-back -back singles by Judge and Wells. They moved to third and second on the Verdugo ground out. And then Oswaldo, it's been a while since he's shown up in a big spot. We need it. He finds a hole in the infield. It gets by the second baseman. Two runs score. Four nothing Yankees. We did a home run, Jose Siri. Right, let me just get to that in a second. I didn't mind yesterday when he hit the home run. He celebrated for like 10 minutes. I don't mind that. He takes 10 minutes around the bases. I don't care. I, I don't want to be old guy on the couch. I do have a problem with it when you're down like four runs. When you have done nothing all day, then it just looks selfish. I know someone's going to make the argument, well, if you don't want someone to pimp home runs off you, don't give up a home run. I get that. I agree with that. You know, in a way, I just think it's very selfish when you're down that many runs. And when you're down that many runs, and by the way, I hate this. It was a couple weeks ago, I think, Judge at a home run. And the team was down five, and they did their like uh, thing in the in the clubhouse in the dugout. Again, I'm just saying hey, when you're down that much, just round the bases, you know, kiss up to the sky, just just go down. Don't make a big deal of it. You're down a lot of runs. Same thing with Siri here. You know, you you just you're down you're down you just down three. Calm down, please. There's no need to go crazy over it. I get I I do love the the pimping home runs. I just I just feel like there's a time and place for it. I also didn't like the fact the Yankees got so bothered by it. It's like whatever. Like don't like. I'm worried about this team sometimes that like stuff easily triggers them, like you know uh, whether it's something the Astros do or just the, the Reds. I just it, this team gets easily triggered, especially Cole. But I don't know. It's like Judge, calm down, settle down, Judge. All right, you, you gave up a you know he, he hit a home run. Just, just please calm down. But whatever, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I did like in the bottom of the fifth, DJ of all people goes yard. Couldn't believe it was his first home run of the year. He's been so awful for us all season long. Crazy to see him hit a home run. Uh, amazing to see that this team right now has two guys in the lineup who are batting under 200. But uh, and, I, and I thought DJ was taking the day off today. Apparently not, but glad he did. Glad he didn't. Uh, that home run there, I made it 5-1. Uh, again, first home run of the year. Bottom of the sixth inning. We saw Verdugo break his 0-for-20 slide. He singles into uh, center. Didn't score on that, but we didn't need it. It was just something to get the confidence back for Verdugo. Um, 
Ninth strikeout of the game for Rodon came at the top of the second, seventh off Lau. And then Caballero struck out. That made it 10 for Rodon. And then, um, yeah, just, just a season high 10 strikeouts for our man, Carlos Rodon. That was terrific. And then, bottom of the seventh, Juan Soto hit a home run that I believe went 450 feet, went all the way up to the sweets in right field. I, it's been a long time since I've seen a home run go that far into right field. That was a beautiful, beautiful shot. And it took him forever to go around the bases, which I didn't mind because we were winning. So I didn't care about that. Great home run there by Soto. He continues to impress. Hand looks fine there, but that was his 24th home run of the year. And Rays got out of it. In the, uh, Yankees uh, didn't let the race score in the eighth. Ninth inning, just fine. And the Bronx Bombers have won. It's their 60th win of the season for the New York Yankees. They become the second American League team and third team in baseball to get to 60. They joined the Phillies and the Orioles. So now it is a game and a half out of Baltimore. Uh, they have the day off, I believe. Or, yes, they have the day off. So it will be a game and a half out. Just a terrific all on performance. Not just with the home runs. Not just with the guys that we don't expect to hit home runs to get hits. With Volpe. With Volpe we've seen before, but uh, it's been a while. With you know, DJ Verdugo getting a hit, which is just wild. Oswaldo getting a big... Base in a while, but also the stellar performance from Rodon. All those factors coming together today to at least split the series against the Rays. This was not the best series in the world, but it didn't end terribly. And at this point, you just take that. You're just very thankful for a team that gets, what, 13 hits, 6 runs. You're thankful for that after the nightmare the last few days and what the last month has been like. But good for the Yankees to get back on the horse. Good performance today. Now we calm down, we relax, and uh, we stay home because tomorrow, the Mets come to town. The All of a sudden... You know, the Grimace Mets struggled with them last time out, but now we got them at home for, what, two two games or three games? I believe, it, I believe it's three, yes. Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, and then we begin Friday up in Boston. Pivotal series for the Yankees. Uh, pivotal series for the Mets, too, as they're trying to uh, get back into it, trying to, you know, get, get, get one of those wildcard spots. So they'll be tough to beat, but... At this point, you have no idea, you have no idea what Yankees you're going to get, which is kind of the problem. You want a bit more consistent. We, we had a consistent team earlier in the year when we won, and now it's just a team that's just sucking for the most part when they when they lose. But this was, I'm just happy with the performance today, happy with Rodon. Great fastball, great slider today. And, yes, the Rays are not a great lineup, but still, they struggled. They, they'd beaten us the last two days, so we needed to um, show up today, and we needed him to step up, and he did. Great job by Rodon. Terrific job by the offense. Folks, are the Yankees back? Question mark. Let's wait and see. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to you know what to see, make sure to subscribe down below. I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully on time. It is Yankees and Mets, the Subway Series in the Bronx. Can the Yankees win a series? Please, for the love of God. Take care and God bless.